In this video, I'm going to be updating you on the Discord to IRC Bridge. So this service basically connects Discord and the old school internet relay chat. Now, I'm doing this video because in my last one, I missed out a few things and also the software has been updated. So there's some new parameters to fill in and some new stuff to do to get it working. Now, the first thing you have to have is node.js and npm installed, which are basically the JavaScript behind it. Um, you need to choose which system you're doing it on. So first, I'm using a Windows system, so it's very easy. We have a 32-bit and a 64-bit installer. You can choose whichever one you want. Or there's also the Mac operating system, or you can do that on Linux. Now, another way of installing it, and I think this is really good, is using a Raspberry Pi. Now, a lot of people want a little headless Raspberry Pi that doesn't have any keyboard, mouse or monitor and just runs the little Discord script in the background and this means it's constantly on. You're not um, turning it on when you connect your PC or manually doing it, but you need to find out what version of the Raspberry Pi you have first because the different CPUs with, work with different versions of the um, node.js so the command to type into terminal before you install node.js there's a nice little guide here on instructables.com uh, it's uname space minus m and that will basically tell you the model version of the raspberry pi so then you follow this guide which i'll put in the comments and that will basically allow you to install it upon the machine then you need to install Discord IRC. Now this is the latest version of Discord IRC. Uh, you download the zip and just shove it onto your hard drive. And I have shoved it on my C drive just to make it easy. Uh, here is the Discord IRC folder extracted. Now what you need to do is make a config file. This was the hard part. This was the part that I kind of messed up a bit on last time. Now the config file is available down here. So you need to create this yourself. What you need to do is use a program that's gonna be able to save it as, um, you can do it in Notepad, but also save it correctly as a .json file here. So I use Visual Studio Code, and that means when it's saved as a .json, it, it should all work because if you do it incorrectly, you'll get not a valid JSON file. Now, this is the setup I have here. I'm obviously gonna change the passwords afterwards so you guys can't log in and you also can't use any of my tokens. But this is an example that's fully configured and I'll show you all the different bits I've done. This is the example configuration. Now, the minimal configuration I remove because we don't need that minimal configuration. But I also removed that, but I leave in that first comma. That was what I missed out first time. So that makes it a valid JSON file. So this is the kind of advanced configuration. Now what this is saying is this is saying, number one, we have the nickname, which will be the retro hour bot, which is in IRC. So let's open up IRC. We'll connect and uh, as you can see this is the proper old school internet relay chat here and I am going to um, just log into the room now let's just go to the all-night cafe because I have set my keyboard like an idiot I now can't find the hash key <laughs> so I copy it and then do forward slash join hash retro hour, which is my podcast, which you should all check out. Now, Clive Sinclair's joined the retro hour here. Okay. So this is the retro hour server. We'll leave the uh, all night cafe. Okay. So what this does is it logs in the retro hour bot. So that's the username. So what I've done is I've gone into IRC before. I have registered this. So if you know how to use IRC, I think it's forward slash uh, message space register, and then you have the options there. But I've registered this name as Retro Hour Bot, okay? 
Now, this is the server that we're going on, which is freenode.net. I don't need to put any port number or anything like that in there, okay? Now, this is the logging onto that actual server. Retro our bot here, which is a mode. Uh, this is the authentication. So the retro our bot here, and the password is Dan Loves Atari, um, <laughs> who's our co-host, and we all know that he, he likes Atari, but he doesn't love it. So Dan Loves Atari is the password. So that's the logging inside. Now, we also want this to appear on Discord as well. So we need to make a Discord bot. Now, creating a Discord bot, you'll have the full instructions here. So I'm not gonna fully go through it because I go through it in the last video. But what you do is you go onto the Discord kind of background area with the links here. You create a new application, you put the name in, you create the bot user, you give the bot user permissions to go in certain areas, add it to the server, you then generate a token, and then that token is then put into the configuration on here. So this is your Discord token. Now, it's gonna say channel mapping. Channel mapping is the next thing. So this is saying IRC, this is saying the Discord side of it. Now channel mapping is also doing that. So channel mapping is saying this room on Discord goes relevant to this room on IRC. So let me have a little look at the Discord. There's some pans. If we look here, you can click on the general chat IRC, which is the one, copy ID. That's it. And then you just chuck the ID into there and you chuck the room that you want to go in, which was um, retro hour there, okay? Now, these are the new options. These are the new options that weren't in the previous one, so you may have to update it, which was basically the port number, the security, the username, and the password again. And this was for IRC. So all you do is just put the username there, the password there, and the port, the relevant port, and usually the ports are pretty much the same in IRC. There's also now webhooks. Webhooks are pretty interesting. So with webhooks, what you can do is you can basically have it so the message looks like it's coming from IRC. And I may do a follow-up video on that. So it kind of, in Discord, it seems like it comes from uh, Discord as well. It comes with the avatars and everything like that. Um, I haven't quite worked that out yet, but we'll give that a go. So all that configuration is done and saved. So it was that simple. We just put that in. We made sure it was a valid JSON file. Okay. Now we just want to run it. So what do we do? We go onto command prompt here. Okay. This is your command prompt and we want to run Discord. So we go to the command here, which was the Discord IRC one. So we copy that Discord IRC, chuck it in there. Now this configuration path is just leading to the example configuration path. So let's have our file here and chuck it in here. Config, there we go. So what you could do is you could set this to auto start on the Raspberry Pi as, as a command that will kind of go and the commands will be exactly the same. It will just probably be in a different location. So now we press enter and as you can see, it's connected on Discord. So let's look at Discord. We are in a general chat. The IRC Freenode Net has just joined and now it's just connected on IRC. So let's have a little Look here, this is the retro hour server, and now the retro hour bot has just entered the server. So let's do testing IRC bridge. Boom, straight away. So that's how the IRC bridge works, and it's updated. Hope it wasn't too quick for you, and if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.